This is the dumb shit that they need. This is the dumb shit that they need to fix in this fucking game. This is the dumb shit. See this right here? This is the dumb shit that really just irritates me about 2K15. 2K, fix your goddamn game already. Please, fix your game, man. There's too many years of this nonsense. I'm going to play this clip once in fast motion, and then I'm going to rewind it just so you can absorb all the nonsense. All-star game. Here I am with the ball. They give me the ball. I pass it, and then he goes out, blah, 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 blah. oh, he scored. Wait a second, let's, let's rewind this whole fucking play. I'm the Eastern Conference All-Stars in white. The CPU in my career mode is the Western Conference All-Stars in black. Joel Embiid grabs a rebound. This is my player right here, number seven. Just so you can see him, Roger Black from the Knicks. Joel Embiid grabs a rebound. I'm breaking up court. I call for the pass. Now, when he throws the pass, it forces me into this dumb animation of this sweeping, jumping, turnaround, catch. Like, I was running up court. Just throw the pass. I'm trying to run out here, right? But because of the... Because of the physics and because of the motion is terrible, you always get sucked into these animations. It's like a magnet. When you get close to somebody, you get drawn in. There's no free motion, especially on defense. You can't turn your player around. You can't pivot, take off. You just move like you're supposed to move in a basketball game. You're just running. You always get sucked into some animation, and you can't ever face up. But anyway, that's besides the point. The problem that I have is... Not just this throw and catch animation. As soon as I come down with the ball, because it's such a weird, funky throw and catch and spin and animation, he dribbles off the dude's foot. Then the CPU tries to stop and pick the ball up. So Kevin Love picks it up. He's my teammate. So I break to the sideline, toward the sideline, because I already know the CPU won't really pass you the ball. They only pass you the ball. I even have four general. And they only pass you the ball when they feel like it. So I break to the side to get clear of all people so I can catch the pass. So I catch the pass. Now, the one big pet peeve I have, especially when it comes to physics and comes to this game, is that when you're playing against the computer, your teammates and your and your opponents or your defenders, when whenever you press a button whether it's the triggers or any button to shoot past, the CPU is always allowed to react quicker than your man can actually respond to the button press. So when this is the reason why people stand wide open and you hit the pass button and then all of a sudden, as soon as the ball is released from your hand, they, they're jumping behind the defender and the defender is jumping out, is because once the, the CPU responds to your trigger press, so that three-tenths of a second or that two-hundredths of a second is the CPU moving first and then your animation of whatever you decided to do or commanded it to do moving second, right? So they get into position first and then you go into the animation to pass or shoot. The problem I have is my teammate right here, 
I cut back towards the middle. He's wide open. And he's got nobody in front of him. He's got one guy over here with a nice lead pass. He can get to the bucket and score very easily. If he doesn't decide to not pass up an open shot, he doesn't even have to get to the bucket. All he has to do is catch the ball and shoot the goddamn thing. But this is what I'm talking about, about the CPU being allowed to move before you do. Here, as soon as the defender takes a step towards me, I already know. So I'm right here. I'm pressing the button to pass to this man. And what happens? Watch what happens. What happens is he's wide open. He, he can shoot. What happens is as soon as I press the button, before my animation and my pass comes out, he jumps out of bounds. So you can see right here, you can see me pulling the ball up over my head to make a pass. And what is my man doing? What is my teammate doing? And this is the terrible teammate AI. He jumps out of bounds. Why? If you're wide open where, and there's nobody guarding you, where are you going? Why do you jump out of bounds, taking yourself out of the play and potentially causing me to have a turnover? Which 2K loves to do, it loves to give you turnovers for passes that are normally good. So he already jumps out of bounds. He jumps out of bounds for no friggin' reason. He's out of bounds. If he caught the, if he didn't move, if he didn't take a step in bounds, it's a turnover, and I would get a turnover. And it's because the CPU is allowed to move and react. This is what causes the lag. This is the lag that everybody talks about. It's not so much that it lags, it's that the CPU executes and fires a command before your input command is calculated and the animation is run. So here, my teammate jumps out of bounds. Then he has to jump back inbounds to, to actually catch the ball. So already, that's, you know, that's just wasted motion. That's, that, that's wasted motion. In the game of basketball where split seconds count and it makes a difference between you beating somebody to the bucket. If this guy is not jumping out of bounds, he's got an open lead. He can dunk it, he can shoot it, he can pull up for a jump, he can just even catch and shoot. But instead, he goes through this animation where he has to jump out of bounds first because there's no defender on him. Then he has to come back and he has to wait for a defender to come back. They give him the slow as hell animation. So he decides he's going to try to dunk it. And what happens? When he decides to try to dunk it against four defenders, I can't control all the people. He catches the ball, he drives to the bucket, and here he's got one, two, three, four. The whole goddamn defense has collapsed on him. He could pass to this man right here, cutting wide open. He could pass to him. He could pass back to me or whatever, but he's got four guys. But watch the physics. What? The fuck is this? He goes up, he's gonna dunk, and he's so far away from the rim with such few hops that he does he slam the ball? He slams the ball into nothing, which is an air ball, and the ball goes off the back. What the fuck is that? What is that? What how is that even possible that you can Dunk, miss, turn his hand over, shoot, and the ball still goes in. And this is the CPU. I benefited from this play, but I had to stop this fucking game and record this video because I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to fucking benefit from bullshit, fucked up physics. 2K, fix your goddamn game. I don't want to play basketball and benefit from all this bullshit. I want to play basketball want that shit to be realistic. I don't want to, I don't want to see this dumb shit. The guy jumps out of bounds and he comes back in bounds. He fake, he, I, I don't even, I can't even explain that shit. I can't even explain that shit. That should be a turnover on the CPU. Did he get blocked into the rim? What the fuck is that? What is that? What, how, why does that, why does this shit occur? Six, seven, Eight years, ten years, we're in 2K15. They've been making this fucking video game since 1999. Fifteen years into this fucking game. And we still see shit like this, man. Are you fucking kidding me, man? The millions of dollars you made, all the goddamn microtransactions, 
all the development man hours that you bragged about. 167,000 hours, 354,000 man hours. And you can't fix this shit right here. This shit right here. You can't fix that shit. You can't take a normal fucking layup, pull up. You can't, you know, and that's the problem. The CPU, they, they either, your teammates can do either one of three things. Either they force their way to the rim, which the, 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 your opponents usually do, or they pull up for three. They don't pull up from mid-range. The mid-range fucking game is gone. He moves out of bounds, catches the ball. You can shoot that. You can catch and shoot. You can take one dribble. You can pull up right there for a little jump shot. No, he's got to try and force his way to the rim and put up this physics-defying, nowhere in the realm of possible fucking physics on planet Earth. Because, you know, if it's a block, well... It doesn't even hit anybody. Maybe it would, it would be nice if it hit the dude's fingertips. It doesn't even fucking wreck. It doesn't. Nobody's even fucking there. How is that possible? That's not a finger roll. That's a dunk from too far away. That hits nothing. Who has ever made a shot like that in the game of basketball? I couldn't. If I tried that shit a hundred times. I was younger, I could dunk. I would never make that shot. I, there's nobody out here in the history of Michael Jordan, all the wildest shots. He never made some crazy shit like that. Okay, picture. God.